of it, ditched a Mirage jet just seconds away from Darwin Homes today after his aircraft engine failed. The pilot ejected to safety after striking trouble on the landing approach to Darwin Air Base. The Mirage was with a group of six others returning from a strike exercise off the northern coast when it developed an engine fault on its final approach to the Air Force Base at Darwin. An Air Force spokesman says the pilot, 29-year-old Flying Officer John Quaife, believes he had no alternative but to turn the aircraft out to sea and eject, despite being only seconds from the runway. His aircraft plummeted towards a beach beyond a nearby residential area. The pilot was quickly located and picked up by an Air Force rescue helicopter and whisked back to the air base as the Air Force and police stepped in to seal off the area. This particular aircraft was flying along its base leg. A loud explosion. The aircraft rocked slightly. A parachute emerged immediately. And the aircraft then started to veer away to the right and moving across and obviously has landed over the mudflats there. With the tide retreating from the wreck, it appears remarkably intact. The major task of the Air Force now is to sift through the mud and mangroves surrounding the Mirage's wreckage and find all the pieces they can to try to put together the jigsaw of why this aircraft crashed so close to a residential area. The Air Force hopes the wreckage can be retrieved from the area within the next day and an immediate investigation into the crash will follow as the aircraft undergoes minute examination. Today's crash leaves only 76 Mirages still flying with the Air Force out of the original 116 built for Australia. Andy Bruin in Darwin for 7 National News. A jet belly flopped onto mudflats five kilometres west of Darwin after developing engine problems. The pilot had ejected to safety. Overnight the plane was moved to higher ground. It will be lifted onto a truck and taken back to the airbase.